So, let's go and turn this request in. I would say it's the last request that we have on the list, but we also have that uh, fusion request that we can't do yet. But anyway, by handing this in to Elizabeth, I wonder what you'll have to say about this. Yes, we have. Well, that's interesting. For that, we get 5 million yen, which at this point in the game we don't really need, but it's kind of nice to have. And might as well register everyone except Abaddon. Odin just barely didn't level up out of that, which is unfortunate. And if we go into accept request, we don't really have very much left here. In fact, all we have is Last Judge. So that seems a little underwhelming, doesn't it? But once we leave the Velvet Room, something is going to change. Huh. That wasn't there before. That's interesting. So, this here is our real reward for defeating the Reaper. And for this, I'm going to change up the party a little bit. I'm going to go with Mitsuru here because she desperately needs some more experience. So, you're going to replace, let's see, I guess and Yukari are both quite high leveled as it is. And I might as well put Akihiko in because I haven't used him for a little while. And I guess he can demo the... Do you have the evil hands? Yes, I did give you the evil gloves. Anyway. Now, it is definitely a good idea to save before going in here. Because it can cause quite a bit of trouble. I'm going to be putting Sandalfon on first. And now, it's time to see what's beyond this door. Let's enter. Time to accept our real reward. And our reward is... A new area of Tartarus. This is Monard. And yes, it is in fact derived from the same thing that a certain future seeing sword is. It looks like a pallet swap of the Thebal block, the very first block of Tartarus. But if we fight some of the enemies here, we'll quickly see what's different. Be careful. There are three strong enemies. Tenjin Musha, they look pretty impressive, don't they? Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Now, I'm gonna want to equip somebody without Okay, I get the feeling those things are gonna be using physical attack, so I'm gonna go ahead and equip a baton. And I'm just going to... I'm actually kind of worried. I'm just going to wait. Ataru Kaja, that's a little terrifying. Oh, weak to electricity, huh? That's going to be helpful. But look at that level. Level 95. They also have Vorpal Blade and Myriad Arrows and Power Charge. Also, like most samurai enemies, they have all of the physical evade skills. But, once we get our turn again... Alternatively, Koromaru could get insanely lucky with Mamudo. Well, reasonably lucky. One died. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, okay, so they hurt a lot. Thankfully, though, we have Abaddon. Abaddon is pretty much invulnerable to anything they can do, actually. Oh, Akihiko could finish this fight for us. Nice. So they're barely taking any damage from that at all. As you'd expect from a level 95 enemy. I've been waiting for this. But let's try and take them down. As you'd also expect from a level 95 enemy, they're not going to die instantly to that. Wow, really not going to die instantly to that. Yeah. However, we do happen to have a very, very powerful electric user, so hopefully, and I'm not even going to be using Mazionga here, I'm breaking out the Maziodine. These things deserve it. Keep it up. The enemy 
In fact, a second Mazeodyne while they're down might actually do more than all out attack now that I think about it. I'm actually going to go for that. Let's hope this does enough to kill them, because Odin is not immune to... Thank you! Okay, good. So, they're gone. Now, we're about to find out the real reason why this is such a great reward. Okay. Gotcha. Look at that experience! That's more than the Reaper gave. Enough to level up to 78. Enough to level up Odin. Eh, not enough to level up your Lundra or Baden. But, definitely enough to level up everyone else in the party. This is the real reward for defeating the Reaper. Monard is by far the best place to grind in the entire game. The enemies here, they are tough, but they're definitely beatable with decent personas, and in fact even our party can hold their own against them for the most part, and defeating enemies this high level gives enormous amounts of experience. This place is an absolute paradise for level grinding, and that's why I recommended beating the Reaper the cheap way early. There are two powerful enemies. We've got the white sigils now. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Because if you beat the Reaper at the level that you're kind of expected to, which is around the level 90s, you won't need this grinding opportunity. But here, yeah, we are going to have a lot of fun with this area. You will level up very, very, very quickly here. You don't even need to fully explore this floor. Well, that was dumb. It's alright though, I saved. So, yeah, I uh, may or may not have had to have reloaded a save because I might have just got killed here. But, yeah, you will expect to die at least a couple of times. It's not really that big a deal. There are two powerful enemies. Oh, by the way. It seems like it's weak against fire. Hi there, Grand Magus. Yeah, if you're wondering why these things were so powerful for where they showed up, that's because they're actually Monard enemies. So this is a familiar face. Koromara is going next. Do I have anyone with fire? I think I've asked myself this question before, and the answer was no. And Anta, you don't happen to have anything, do you? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay then. Okay, I've got an idea. I'm gonna go for Trickster. So these enemies are about to get Loki'd as revenge for what they did to us in the, the Adama block. Okay, didn't work on one of them, but one of them is afraid. And while it isn't, it's about to get Archidine. They still don't take very much damage, though. And I'm pretty sure an all-out attack won't kill them. You missed an enemy that's afraid? No, don't take all your experience away! Ah, oh, dang it. Well, I guess this is easier to handle. Uh, not sure if that was the best use of your SP, Mitsuru. Uh, hmm. I think Vorpal Blade is actually going to do more than Brave Blade. Let's see. Definitely more. Well, I haven't actually tried Brave Blade, but definitely a lot. You do want to be trying to finish as many battles as possible with the protagonist here, because you want to get shuffle time. The experience bonuses here... That was a single enemy! And yeah, you're seeing level 78 again, because... Yeah, I might have accidentally got killed here before. But really, you don't need to try and fully explore this place. You just need to fight even just one or two enemies, and you'll already level up a few times. You don't want the enemies to get preemptives against you, though. That's very, very bad. 
You type of turret, huh? Powerful enemies. Hallowed turret. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. I get this feeling you guys might be weak to darkness, although I hope I don't eat my words there. Hmm. Okay, you're immune to pierce. You are weak to light and have nothing that resists light, so I'm kind of worried these things might use light on us. I guess I'll just go for Trickster again, see if I can debilitate them a little bit. Not the literal debilitate skill, because that doesn't exist in this game. But I just kind of want to make sure that we don't die before I get the scan in and see. You definitely want to scan these things quickly, because otherwise you can run into problems with, uh, like what happened to me earlier, where I didn't realize that an enemy... Exactly! If I had used Brave Blade or Vorpal Blade here, that would have ended badly. They repel everything physical. And they have Pierce Attacks, so actually I've got a few personas that... No, no dang it! Ah. Maybe it actually wasn't a good idea using Trickster. Oh well. One of these should still give pretty decent experience. If you can exploit these enemies' weaknesses, you should be able to defeat a couple of them per pass. And going in here, beating a few of them, leaving with escape route, and then coming back is a pretty effective method of grinding at this point in the game. Nice try. That was pretty cool. I've been waiting for this. Let's bash the tank again. And it's still not gonna die, apparently. Okay, good, it's not running. And so I'm just going to Odin this. Only one enemy left. Like I've been saying, you don't really need to fully explore this place. Just beating one or two enemies at this point is more than enough to get a lot of experience. So a single harrowed t- uh, well, not an experience card here, but let's see how much money we get out of this. Uh, still pretty much the same. But that's with no experience cards. Over 2,000 experience- 2,500 experience points for a single enemy. That is absolutely amazing, and because of that, this area is the best place to grind your Persona levels as well. It's one of the few places in the game where that's actually reliable. So that's why I also recommend unlocking this as soon as you can, because once you do... For example, Gabriel is quite a while off getting her heart item, but a few battles here, in fact one battle is enough to if I get a good experience card, and I don't have any enemies running away due to fear, one battle should be enough to level up Gabriel once. I should be able to get that heart item relatively easily now. This is the best time in the game to go for heart items, once you've unlocked Monard. Now, there's something else that you can also get after unlocking Monard, and you can probably tell what it is. If we go into check requests, we should have some... There we go! And unfortunately, there is another katana request. Oh joy. Yep, this is the last one, but they still exist, unfortunately. Perform last judge, and is that actually all? That might be all now that I think about it. Looks like it's all. Okay, I expected there were a few more Monard requests, but that seems to be the only one. Now, there is a certain request that is directly associated with Monard, but it is unfortunately New Game Plus only. Yeah, it's actually not possible to fully complete Elizabeth's request in one playthrough, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, there is one that requires a New Game Plus. Let's just say that Monard does have a boss, but yeah, they are restricted to New Game Plus, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save, and I might just try and show off just a little bit more of Monard leveling. If we level up a few more times, I might be able to create some new personas, so that should be pretty useful. Anyway, it's always a good idea to save in between Monard visits, because you can die very easily if you're not careful. Now, I will properly explore all of Monard eventually. At this point, though, we're not really strong enough to try that. Probably best just to get in, get a little bit of experience at a time, and get out. 
And so it is time to once again venture into Damonado. That thing's gonna be mine! Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry, I don't know why, but Moonkar impressions are fun. That was kind of a wonky hitbox. I was a bit worried about that for a second. What are you? Eternal Sand. Now, if I'm right about this, I think these things are weak to certain physical attacks. I really hope I am right about this. Though I kind of need to keep Gabriel equipped anyway. Don't repel this, please. Well, you block it. Not that terrible. And that was useless. Okay, you're weak to everything physical except Pierce, and you null all of that and drain wind, which is unfortunate. And have my Garodine. Okay, so I thankfully I don't have Odin equipped. But Koromaru should be able to knock these things down. Once again, though, I don't think an all-out attack will kill them. I need to get a better knife for Koromaru. Yeah, as I thought, not gonna instantly kill them. Ah, definitely not, actually. Wow. Good thing I don't have Junpei here. They still hurt a lot, though. Yeah, this is the power of over level 90 enemies. But if you guys are weak to slap, Okay, actually, I can't um, go ahead and do... Vorpal Blade. Kind of a shame. Might actually not kill them now, I think about it. These things seem very resilient. That's the way. I've been waiting for this. Hmm. Uh, party members are probably going to wake them up again if I leave them down, so might as well just go for all that attack again. But yeah, these things are very resilient. Yes, you will heal the person who I ship you with. And you will also heal the person who I ship you with. Well, we'll get an all, another all-out attack here. Wonder if this will do it or not. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Almost, though. Uh, that could be bad. The other one's going to be going to, so please don't kill anyone. Okay, that's just, that's kind of pathetic. Well, that might not be so pathetic, actually. I about to say, I think this might lower hit rate, but... One down, and another one down, hopefully. There we go, and considering that Gary Sue finished the fight, it means we should be getting a shuffle time here. So, thank you, 9 experience card. Five. Five again. Yeah, that was enough to level up Gabriel. Well, firstly, Yulunga levels up, and Gabriel levels up. Of course, it's going to be a while before we get another one, and the bat levels up, which is pointless. No, oh, interesting. Saying no to the hard item means you actually lose the hard item forever. That's... Why would you even do that, then? Anyway, probably a good idea to get out of here now. <laughs> My skills have improved. Oh, I can see what's in there, uh, Chewing Soul. Yeah, so let's get out of here. Escape route makes grinding in Monard a lot more bearable. But, yeah, I hope that gives you a good indication of just why Monard is such a good reward. So, there are actually two requirements for it. You have to have completed Elizabeth's request to defeat the Reaper, and you have to have reached floor 254 of Tartarus. So, that's why I wanted to do that as well before getting this. Something else about Monard? Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm pretty sure about it. I think it actually carries over to a new game plus once you've unlocked it once. So, that means that once you start a new game plus, you've already got an area that's good for grinding, even after you've carried over your absurdly high level from the end of the previous game. 
it also makes that certain New Game Plus exclusive boss a little bit more manageable to get to. There's actually quite an amusing glitch with that boss too. If you fight that boss before Fuka joins the party, Fuka will still give you the navigation lines for that fight because they don't expect you to fight them when you have Mitsuru as the navigator. Anyway though, I'll just save and I'll show maybe some more enemies from Monard. Be cautious. There are four enemies. That's new, Amora Snake, which I believe is a mini-boss in Recess Dungeon in Persona 4. Okay then. Hmm. What should I do here? Gabriel still needs a little bit to go before leveling up a bit, so. I kind of feel like these things might be weak to ice, though, although this could end badly. Snakes do tend to be weak to ice, though. And I was right! Good! I was thinking they'd pull a fast one and have it absorb or repel that, but no. There are a lot of enemies that repel things in Monard. You definitely have to be careful of that. They're actually not all that resilient, either. It has multiple weaknesses. Okay, yeah, drain fire. Weak to dark, though. So, some of the enemies in Monard are weak to instant death elements. Those ones are easily the best for grinding, because you can just use Samsara or Die for me and rake in a ton of experience points. Sexy Dance has the potential to be very bad, though. Kind of funny they only have Mahama and not Mahama on. I mean, I'm glad they only have Mahama, because has less of a chance of hitting, but still. Yeah, just one round of Vufudine and all-out attack and another round of Vufudine and another all-out attack is pretty much all that is enough to do it. Next time I see these things, though, I'll just give them a die for me. Four enemies, though. This is going to give a lot. If we get shuffle time, please get shuffle time. Yes, we did. Okay, good. Okay, curse cards are bad here. Three. That was two. Gotcha, let's see. That is almost enough for Gabriel to level up right there. And yes, you will level up like crazy in this area. Especially good to bring personas in here that have growth three, because yeah... I'm kind of going to skip over that and just check how much everyone's leveled up. Yeah, Koromaru is already level 71, Akigo's already level 72. You, your party members are going to be leveling up a lot here. Now let me just check Gabriel. Might want to register her to the compendium now so I can get multiple copies of that heart item if I need it. So, let's leave again. I would like an escape route. See, this is why Escape Route is absolutely amazing. You know, I might as well accept this request. It's the only one that we can do at this point, and might as well take it just to see if one of those chests shows up. Now, something else that I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm going to buy Cert back out of the Compendium. Actually, one battle is all that it'll take to get Cert's hard item. Are there any other Personas with hard items that I could actually get here? I think I've got... Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I have Narcissus with the hard item. I don't need that, though. The Tome of the Void is better in every way. But what else? Hmm. Actually, should probably try grinding Thanatos a bit here, too, because that hard item will be definitely useful for Ken. I've actually filled in quite a bit of the Compendium, though I'm missing a few Towers, I'm missing a lot of Star, and, uh... I've actually got quite a few Moon, though. Hmm. Do I have all of Moon? I'm not sure. Maybe not, actually. Definitely don't have all of Sun, and I'm missing quite a lot of Judgment and Aeon. Anyway, though, back into Monard. Oh, that's why you're not using Mumble Nine. You don't even have it yet. That could be bad. Uh, 
that's not good. Okay, then. Um, I am going to do this. Oh, and I'm going to relent there. And I'm going to... You don't have Summer of Calm, do you? But I would like you to get your heart item, so... I'm going to have to use a Balm of Life or a... Or just a regular or Revival Bead. Doesn't look like I have any Revival Beads left, really enough. And this should be gone. Goodbye. And another level up. And not quite enough for Gabriel, it looks like. Yeah, I think Gabriel needed 6,000. My skill level has Definitely been... enough for a lot of the party, though. Yes, yes, yes. My skill level has increased. This is where you go if you really like your party members' level up quotes and you want to hear them all the time, and that could be death right there. Okay, well, if we get ah, that could be death. Ow! Well, that was close. Well, guess I got those Trafuri gems for a reason. Just gotta find them in my list here. Goodbye. Having some of these can be useful. Just in case a battle goes south like that. That's why you don't want to let enemies get a preemptive strike on you here. Okay, let's just summer recom everyone. And let's just um Let's get someone else to request healing. Oh right, I was gonna show off the swimsuits. Ah uh, Hmm. Uh, I don't really feel like doing it now. The enemies here are kinda scary. Also, pretty sure the Reaper can still show up down here, so you do have to watch out for that. Don't linger in the same area for too long. I was glad about that, because I was worried that was a little bit out of the hitbox. That's still quite a lot, and with that, well, Yolunga gets another level up. And Gabriel reaches level 75. See how quickly levels on your personas go in this area? Myriad arrows. Can I afford to lose anything here? I guess I don't really need the double charges. I forgot you even had high counter. I've got power charge on other things. Definitely yes. And so we get... The Frozen Stone. Oh, and view level. I, I should probably just get rid of it. Actually, though, Abaddon does tend to save me against things that use physical attacks. Might keep you for a little while longer. Ta -da -da -da! I'm the man! So, I can now cover Akihiko's weakness, which is pretty great. So, I only have a few more of those items left, actually. Who should I go for next? Either Thanatos or Surt. Now, equipping lower-level personas is a major risk in this area, as you'd probably expect. I'm going to wait until something's weak to fire before I go for Surt, but hopefully Thanatos should do all... I don't even have Thanatos, do I? Yeah, I don't have Thanatos. That's... I did not expect that. I must have got rid of... I think I got rid of Thanatos in Anansa's fusion. Well, I guess I'll try and go for Cert then. You know, since I have the Frozen Stone, I should probably play it safe. Let's get out of here and save. Retreat! While I'm here, I can give that to Akihiko. I do like that, but... Nullifies ice damage, yes please.
Be careful. There are three strong enemies. King Castle, that's new. Give me a sec. I'll stun the target. You are almost always weak to wind. Let's see if I'm right on that. I I do have Norn, okay. Oh. I thought that since I didn't have Thanatos, I wouldn't have Norn, but I guess I do. Let's see if this hopefully doesn't come back to bite me. Well, yep, you are weak to wind. Most castles are. The enemy is down. That actually looks pretty cool. You normally don't see castles in Group 2 3. So seeing them all just get flipped up in the air like that is pretty cool looking. Uh oh. Yeah, they tend to be elect users. Bit of a weird line to say when you're healing yourself, but oh well. Repel Strike, though. Actually, these things are pretty much Akihiko's worst nightmare. Well, they don't have ice, but oh well. God's Hand, Power Charge, Elect Break. As long as you use Wind, they're not too bad. Like, you're probably not going to get a chance to use that Power Charge. Hopefully. I am so glad that so many of us have Dirahan. Yeah, they're definitely going to go down to this. If not to this, then to the all-out attack afterwards. Yeah, but just outright killed them all. Except Norn stole all the experience there instead of Cert. But I would like Norn's Absorb Elect skill. Okay, yeah, you are the one on the right in the group of two. Nice. And yeah, we are leveling up like crazy. 81 is a pretty good level, though. I forget if that's... Is, I forget what level Hallel is, whether it's 81 or 83? My or even 82. Yes, yes, yes! Yes! <laughs> You again! Last time I tried to scan you, I was so rudely interrupted by Gary Stu dying. Thanks to I do know you repel slash at the very least. So what I'll just go for Sandalf on because Sandalf has no weaknesses. Hmm. This might not be a bad idea. Just in case. Fire. Repel ice Slash ice. and Light, weak to fire! Aha! I have found the thing that I want to use to grind Cert on. Though Mabufudine is pretty dangerous as well as Megadola on and Mamud on. Mind Charge. If I've got my Karakan up though, it shouldn't be too bad. Don't really have any way to get around that. Also, Junpei can just do this. This is probably a good idea because they're not going to die to one other world attack anyway. So I can get my first in now. I kind of hope that I have at least one Makara Khan left before I switch to Surt though, because I like the. Well, Makara Khan is still up. So I can feel relatively safe about using Surt here. Yeah, just go for Maraki Dine. And why not? Here's a Let's get I mean, I could just say Aaron Ragnarok it, but... This doesn't cost any SP. Will we gain more than 18,000, though? Well, there's two 10 experience cards. Thank you. Not quite enough. But yeah, everyone else leveled up again. Let's see how everyone's going. Yeah, everyone is at the 70 or higher mark now. Hmm. Do I cut and run or do I go for one more? It's always the question when you're in Monard. You do have to be very careful. Oh, it's you. Be cautious. There are four enemies. Oh, right, because Give the last sec. time I died, so I didn't get the scan on these things. Uh, I do know that if I have a bat, you can't do anything. Okay, 
they were weak to Zeo, if I remember correctly, and they repelled everything physical. Let's see if my memory was right. Junpei, please don't attack them. You are stupid. Oh, actually, they didn't repel that. They dodged everything physical. Uh, yes, okay, they are weak to a Zeo. I actually made them a little bit stronger in my mind there. They do not repel everything physical. That is scary, though. I don't like that at all. Didn't realize there were four of them. Oh, that's not good. Please tell me the one that did not fall down. Ah! Well, Mitsuru survived, just barely. There are four enemies left. One of them is already down. This could end badly. Does the buff? Okay, yeah, the buff window does not show if one of them has power charge or mind charge active like it does in later Persona games. I have to thunder rain them all, actually. Does do a lot of damage. That's it. The enemy is down again. Keep it up. Here's a chance. Let's get him. I don't think they'll all die to this, actually. No, does not look like it, so I have time to switch to Surf later. Oh, none of them died at all, actually. Junpei, please... Hit them and capitalize on that. Shock status, that's unfortunate. Well, that's nice. Oh, and Ken's going, so we actually might be able to finish them all now. You're pretty good. Which would unfortunately mean Surt doesn't get any of the experience, though. Great, yeah. Or Ken could just do that. I'm actually kind of glad that he did that. Don't die, please. Well, someone did. But I think I can safely get Surt in here. And let's just go for a Mara. I forgot that there's still one on the ground. And it's going third. And Ken's going fourth. Oh. Hmm. You know what? Just to be safe. How many attack mirrors do I have? Plenty. Let's go. This could possibly miss. Did not. Okay, then. That's good. That one's up. And that is... Well, I would have liked it if you'd gone for those enemies, but that's fine, too. Thank you, attack mirror. And the camera just panned away from that thing dying. Still have an attack mirror up on Gary Stu. Let's just Ragnarok, then. Burn to the ground! That did not do nearly as much as I would have hoped. Almost... Okay, yeah, that's fine, because we've got the mirrors up anyway. And it's dead. Okay, so this should give you Surt's heart item. And another level up! See what I meant when I said way back when that the later levels go very, very quickly? I'm not going to keep you a baton, so might as well. Meh, not the best. And there is Fire Amp. 
Let's see. Mataru Kaja, Evade Ice, Meraki Dime, Mind Charge. Uh... At this point in the game, I have better than Deathbound. I've got much better physical personas, so I don't need Deathbound. Fire Boost plus Fire Amp is pretty good, though. So, let's let you continue. It's actually kind of annoying, because I would have wanted to register you before you had that, so I could farm this hard item, but really, I only need one of these, and that's going on Mitsuru right now. Uh, not Ken. Mitsuru, where are you? There you are. You are getting a present. You are getting... Wow, she's had that for a very long time, but this is a lot better. Complete immunity to your weakness, unless the enemy uses Fire Break, which can happen. So, let's definitely get out of here now. The only major one of those items that I have left is the Null Wind one, and annoyingly it's on a Persona that's... It's weird, like, it's not an ultimate or anything like that. I think it's like Jutta, Jutta you or something? I remember I thought it was Garuda at first, and it turns out it wasn't. But anyway, with that, I, I will definitely save here. And now, I'm going to see what we can make in Fusion now that we're level 82.